In this video, I'm going to show you a new AI app builder called Creo, which was the number one product of the day on Product Hunt, which is not easy to do. And we're going to put it to the test. Not only is it supposed to be able to build many SaaS apps for you and your team, it has collaboration features to build together with your team, which is something that sets it apart from other tools, is great for beginners, but also has advanced features like MCP capabilities, which we're going to dig into later in the video. Thank you so much to Creo for sponsoring Answering this video, click the link in the description to try Creo for yourself. Before we actually jump in and start building with Creo ourselves, I want to show you a couple examples of what's possible using the templates that Creo provides. So this is an internal tool example. That's a content calendar where you can add items and then it would all show up in a calendar. So that's a cool example. A study guide example for students. So you can add notes and then it can create a study guide. So we can even check this out really quick by generating a study guide. And this is showing you the AI capabilities that you can add into your Creo app, which is pretty cool. And here we have a study guide that it created. And we can do one more. This is a sketchbook gallery design demo. And what I like about this is it just shows you that Creo can be more creative with the design and not just look like every other basic app. We're going to start building ourselves in a second, but I want to show you one more thing, which is integrations. And this is something that I think makes Creo really cool and stand out from other tools. So you can add MCP servers into your Creo app. So you can manage your MCP server and API configurations here. And this is going to allow us to bring an additional functionality into our Creo app. So just as an example here, we have API services. So Nano Banana, we could bring image generation. We have OpenAI. So that's where we were using in some of the templates of having text generation. You can connect to tools like YouTube, Discord, Reddit, which can be really helpful for getting data. Firecrawl is a really cool one to get access to a lot of data on the internet. So all of these are available in your Creo app. Now you also can add custom MCP servers. So having MCP as a part of this whole ecosystem really makes Creo very powerful. And especially as an internal tool, if you're thinking about building something with your team and bringing in your company data is really useful. So let's start with this example. I want to build a company help desk app. It should have a page for customers to, to submit issues and then a place for customer service reps to respond to issues and close them out. So I'm going to go ahead and send that off. So right off the bat, they're asking if we want to connect to external tools, data or API to power your app, which I think is pretty cool. And the other thing that's actually really nice is that it's recommending me specific integrations that make sense and also telling me why. For example, for Gmail, it's allowing us to handle notifications, email notifications when they come in. It's suggesting OpenAI to auto categorize. Uh, so I'm going to select Gmail and the OpenAI GPT chat. I'm also going to select the file upload because I think that could be nice to be able to allow customers to attach screenshots. I don't think I need notion although it says it can serve as the database backend to store and manage issues so maybe i'll choose that as well so I'll, I'll use all four of these integrations and let's see how it goes so i'm going to click confirm i'm going to click continue I need a product brief with features and tools needed so i'm going to go ahead and approve that brief and now we have the ai building for us so we have on the right side our chat we're going to have version control as well we have the preview and then in the dashboard i'm going to show you around while the ai is coding the first version so we have the initial prompt, the product brief, integrations, which we're going to have to authenticate to actually add. It looks like the OpenAI is going to be built in automatically to Creo and also the file upload, but Notion and Gmail, we're going to have to authenticate. So I'm going to do that in a minute. Under settings, this is the MCP server for this app. So if you want to turn your app into an MCP and then use it in tools like Cursor or Claude, you can do that as well. So there's a lot of use cases that you could do with something like that. You can clone the app. And then we're going to have the database schema and content. And then you can also see the code once the first version is generated. So we're going to see the final result shortly. And just on the right side, I want to show you what's happening where basically it's just going through methodically building out the functionality that we asked for, the components. And I've also been seeing it debug and find errors and resolve it on its own, which is a sign that I look for when I'm using any of these tools of how well it's able to actually solve problems on its own. So it looks like we are just about finished and Creo intelligently popped up telling me I need to authenticate the MCPs. So I'm going to do that now. So our help desk app version one is complete. 
It has the ability for customers to submit issues. We have database backend issue tracking. If I go to the database, I can see the database schema that was created with issues, responses, and the user, which is awesome. We have a customer service rep dashboard so they can respond. So we're going to test out all of these features shortly, plus AI assistant response suggestions, which is cool. All right. So why don't we test this out? But beforehand, I am wondering what the login is. So I see there's a support issue, but for the representative login, I don't think I, I have that. So I'm going to ask Creo how to do that. All right. So we now have our setup account page. So we have some demo credentials here. Demo one, two, three, we'll create the account. Then we should be able to go into our login or demo one, two, three, login. And great. So now we can see the support dashboard from the representative side. So to test this out, well, I guess log out first, we'll go to our submit issue and let's actually submit an issue. So let's say user submitting an issue about not being able to log in. We can go ahead and submit that issue. So it was submitted successfully. So I've now logged in and it's all really nice and professional. So I can view this issue. We can see, I don't know how to log into my account responses, nothing yet. I can add a response. So why don't we use the AI suggestion and see what it comes up with. Now, something that I'm thinking that could be cool is we could add almost like a knowledge base to this very easily and then have the AI use that knowledge base to add a response specifically based on our company. So let's click send response. We see the issue now in open and this is pretty cool. So you can basically go through, add responses, the AI suggestion. And then what we can do as a next step is use the Gmail MCP to actually send emails to the customer and then let the customer basically we can give them a unique link to then come back to the app to respond and have a fully functioning customer service CRM and also just help desk management system. And we could even build in a way for AI to initially give the user a quick response to see if that solves their problem. So all of this could be built as your own custom software here inside of Creo. Something else that's pretty cool just in terms of inspiration is if you click this get inspired ideas, you can select any of the APIs or MCP servers. So for example, we can select Reddit and you could select multiple if you want as well. So we could select YouTube and Reddit and then generate ideas based on those data sources that we could actually build with Creo. So let's see what Creo comes up with for these two MCP servers. I really actually like idea three, developing a content inspiration tracker that pulls posts from subreddits and YouTube channels. I could save ones I like with a quick note and organize them into project idea categories like art coding or writing for future reference. So that's pretty cool. Where I can really see Creo being useful for me is with these MCP server connections and easy API connections, because I think that's where a lot of other tools like Lovable and Bolt fall short, where like you can connect to these types of tools, but you have to do it through an API connection, which can be tricky to get working sometimes. And if there's errors, it can cause a lot of back and forth debugging, especially if you're not very technical. So having these built in is really helpful. And then even being able to turn your app into an MCP server. So if we go to the dashboard again, go to the settings, we can then use our app with other AI agents and LLMs, which could be really helpful. So for example, if we were building that idea that I was showing you before, where we were gonna build like an inspiration agent to get Reddit and YouTube data, we could build that, but then have that accessible by other AI agents. So it starts to get really powerful when you bring all of that together. You can get started with Creo 100% for free. So click the link in the description to try it out for yourself and see if it's something that works for you. Leave a comment below to let me know what you think of Creo. Let me know if you think it's something you could see yourself using and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more free content like this. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.